Hi, my name is Jasmine Frazier, and I am a representative for Sempra Corporation. And I'm here to talk to you today about gonorrhea. Now, what is gonorrhea? Gonorrhea is an STD, or more currently known, an STI, sexually transmitted disease or infection. Now, gonorrhea infects both men and women, and it is caused by the bacteria Neisseria gonorrhea. To show you an even bigger picture about gonorrhea around the world, the estimated new cases of gonorrhea among adults in 2009 was astronomical. In Australia and New Zealand, there was about 120,000 people. In North and South America, about 9 million people. In Western Europe, about a million. In Eastern Europe and Central Asia, 3.5 million. In East Asia and the Pacific, 3 million. In North Africa and the Middle East, 1.5 million. And in the Sub-Saharan Africa, about 17 million. And the most in South and Southeast Asia, 27 million people. This makes our grand total in the year of 2009, 62 million people. So to break it down a little bit further, the epidemiology in the United States. In the US, in 2010, there were over 309,000 cases reported. Now that's a 2.8% increase since 2009. Now the highest rates are in females, this, this is between the ages of 15 and 24, and in men, the highest rates are between 20 and 24. Now this is Jen. Now Jen likes to party. She decided one day, her and her girlfriend, they're in college, and they decided to go out to the bar. Now it starts getting late, and Jen's friends, you know, they are pooped, and they decide that they're ready to go home. But Jen, Jen wasn't done yet. So Jen continues drinking. I'm drunk. So the club get the bar starts it starts getting a little bit later and Jen starts getting her beer goggles on. This is when she meets Joe Dirt. Throw in a mullet. Now Jen should have known by Jen should have known by looking at uh, the mullet of Joe Dirt that he probably wasn't the best guy to go home with. But she had her beer goggles on and she said, "Whatever, I'm lonely. Just want to get laid." So Jen decides to go home with Joe Dirt. It wasn't her night, dot, dot, dot. This is the night Jen contracted gonorrhea. She didn't only contract it orally, but also vaginally and anally. Unfortunately for her, when she decided to go to the bathroom, she didn't wash her hands before touching before putting her contacts in. This is when she got gonorrhea in her eyes. Now gonorrhea can also be contracted, can also be contracted from a mother to a child. So two to five days later, Jen and Joe Dirt start noticing some symptoms. Now lots of times, men and women do not show any symptoms. But some of the common symptoms that women see is painful and burning urination, increased vaginal discharge, and bleeding between periods. 
For men, sim they have very similar symptoms, burning sensation when urinating, white, yellow, and or green discharge, and painful and or swollen testicles. Now some of the rectal symptoms in men and in women are discharge, anal itching, soreness, bleeding, and painful bowel movements. Doesn't sound too good of a thing to me. So Jen and Joe Dirt, they decide to go to the doctor. The doctor gives them a physical exam and he notices some similar, uh, some, some similar symptoms to them. And he decides to swab his urethra and her cervix. He takes a sample from either a fluid or their urine to see if they have this bacteria, Neisseri gonorrhea. After this, the doctor decides to send these to the lab. This is where uh, the labs decide to test to test the to test the samples. Now, the samples, depending on the lab and the clinic, can be tested multiple ways. They can either have a growth culture, which determines uh, the type of gonorrhea and if they are resistant to certain antibiotics. There's an NAAT test, which is a nucleic acid appli application test. And a d there's a DNA probe test, which is very similar to the NAAT test. And lastly, there's a gram stain test. Now, a gram stain test is less reliable, but it shows faster results. Prevention. Now, Jen and Joe Dirt could have prevented this from happening. To begin with, there's abstinence, avoiding having sex. If that's not the case, they, they could have had safe sex by using a condom. They also could have possibly changed their environments and watched how much drinking and partying they decided to do. Unfortunately, this was not the case. So after being tested, after getting positive results of their, uh, of their, after getting tested positive for Neisseria gonorrhea, a, a gram-negative diplococcus bacteria, they decided to get treated. Typically, doctors in the United States prescribe ceftriaoxone. Now, this is an extended spectrum cephalosporin, otherwise known as an ESC. Usually, they prescribe a combination of this and azithromycin, which is a macrolide. Now, these are antibiotics that can fight against gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Now, a combo of doctors prescribe a combination of this back of these antibiotics so that the bacteria do not become more resistant. Unfortunately, bacteria are becoming stronger and are fighting these antibiotics. So the conclusion to this. is solithromycin. Now, solithromycin is one of Sempra's newest drugs. We've invested millions of dollars into research for, for this current prescription. But not only is solithromycin cost efficient, it also protects, uh, it is also a stronger antibiotic which is strong enough to fight the macrolides that are, that are currently being used, and also the ESCs. It has an advantage over macrolides, and it can be tolerated at higher doses. 
Another, another benefit of salithromycin is that it can be taken orally and intravenously. Salithromycin is the first fluoro fluoroketolide. Now, fluoroketolides are a, are a type of antibiotic that are, are that can fight against microlides. Now, because the current treatment is ceftriolox, ceft, ceftriaxone and azithromycin, salithromycin is the obvious is the obvious answer to to fixing this problem. Okay, so so. We've done multiple clinical studies on, on patients. So we decided to give 30 patients a single dose of salithromycin. Now, these patients already showed, showed no symptoms according to uh, being compared to the current treatment. And they actually cleared the infection in all of the patients by using only one dose. This is why salithromycin is the drug to use and the drug to invest in. As done.